Their word. Break them now. Boom. They're waiting. Break them now. It's one of the closer fights of the world championships. This could come down to one of two scoring shots. At least both guys showing some kind of desire here in the last round. We didn't really see that in a couple of the fights going into the last round when fights were winnable. Guys kind of just gave up on it. Again, the wrestling going on. There, you oh, see, he held him and cracked him with a shot. The right. But that's from the referee's carry on, and that one counts. But that's the referee's fault. If he would have gotten in there and break, broke them, carry on wouldn't have been able to land that shot. Now carry on holding on to a three-point lead. That three-point lead, but the way this bout has gone, could be significant. Looks Sending like they're perfected. both running out of gas. Now they're taking a point away. Taking two points away from carry on. Carry on had a three point lead, but the math on this is that the point taken away from one fighter is awarded to the other, so it's a two point swing, and now we're tied at 20. See, this is what I'm telling you. This is where I'm saying that it could be controversial. Now carry on again gets a, gets a point lead. Well, I could see the Cubans railing away over that at the end of this fight. This is a close, close bout, and that was a significant turn of events. Get in there and break them. You is see it the clear to you why he took the point away? He called him for holding. Good left hook lands on the inside. Right hand over the top. We're tied again. Povetkin lands two shots on the inside. Again, the referee not getting in there and separating the fighters. You're asking them to referee themselves. And two fighters, when they get on the inside, no one wants to step back because it's dangerous to step back and get hit with a shot. The referee should be getting in there. Look at this. Two points came up for the Russian. Well, at one point, it was a three-point lead for Pedro Carrion of Cuba. Then the point taken away from him. At the end of round three, it's a two-point lead for Povetkin. This is just poorly refereed bout, and I, I just don't like to see that when two guys are on the inside and the referee just watching them. Get in there, break them up. You see, they're forcing to break themselves. They're having to push each other off on their own. That's not right. Fourth and final round of the super heavyweight final. Pedro Carrion down by two against Alexander Povetkin of Russia. And again, that's Carrion in the blue, Povetkin wearing the red. Cuban quickly back with a scoring shot, so it's down to a one-point lead now for Povetkin. Right hand over the top from Povetkin finds the mark. That's the shot against the taller guy, loop it over the top. Oh, there's a good right hand from Carrion, but that didn't come up. Back to a two-point gap, and Coach, you know the uh, Cubans will be enraged at the end of this bout over the, the point being taken away from Carrion in the third round. That could be the deciding factor here. Right now it is. Right now it is the deciding factor. And now he's cautioned Povetkin for all kinds of things. He's had his head down, he's cautioned for all kinds of things, and he hasn't taken a point away. There's the head down again. Watch the referee, just looking at them, just looking at them figure how much time has passed over the last two rounds where he's just stood looking at the two fighters. See how they have to break themselves there? Now the power shots again from both fighters. Nothing scores, still a two-point lead for Povetkin. Time working against Carrion now. Carrion steps in with the wild right that does not land. Again, the referee just standing and watching them and the fighters having to break themselves. Two points, still the mark. We saw a lot of this in the uh, previous bout. Solis against Alexiev of Russia, draped over each other. Referee was not eager to break them up. We're seeing it again in the super heavyweight final. Back to a two-point lead now for Alexiev, or I should say Povetkin of Russia. And again, they're waiting for the referee to break them, and it's not happening. Another shoddy performance in the refereeing department when these guys oh, are on the left inside. By and there is the two-point the difference. That scored, but uh, that's not enough. And Povetkin of Russia wins the gold medal. A narrow decision. Two-point victory for Povetkin. And thank you, Mr. Referee, for awarding the gold medal to the Russian.
That's exactly how the Cubans will see it. You know that. As it turns out, as we thought, Point being taken away from carrying in the third round is the deciding factor here. You know, this was so we saw some of this in in Sydney when but when the referees and we we, we criticized it where the referees are taking too long to break them on the inside and it's still consistent it's still persistent here. The smaller fighter Alexander Povetkin of Russia wins the gold here. Took a penalty to carry on in the third round for him to get it. Coach, six gold medal finals, and the Cubans have won two of them. It's not their usual rate of success. Do you think they're concerned? Well, you know, uh, normally for any other country, we'd say, wow, you know, these guys got that many into the finals. That's pretty good. But then when you look at the standards that the Cubans have set, and this is what we talked about at the outset, was that, you know, they have set a bar, which maybe it's even getting too hard for them to maintain in this competitive world of amateur boxing. Yeah, there appears to be a lot more parity in world amateur boxing these days. We mentioned at the outset two Canadians in these world championships, Jason Douglas, the heavyweight, Andrew Cooner, the bantamweight. We'll see them fight next week. Uh, what do you make of their chances? Well, you know, you know how much I like Andrew Cooner. I mean, I think pound for pound, especially when this guy's training, he's probably the best pound for pound fighter on the team. You know, he came one point shy of winning the gold medal at the Commonwealth Games last year. And Jason Douglas, who's as good a heavyweight as you're going to find, surprised everybody and came away with the gold last year. So I think you're going to see two good action fights from two guys from Canada who elected to go to the world. So next Saturday, five more gold medal finals from the World Boxing Championships. And another reminder, we'll see Douglas and Cooner, the Canadians, fight. A half a dozen gold medals decided in Bangkok and Cuba will lament the one they missed at super heavyweight. For Russ Anber, I'm Scott Oak, and now to Mark Conley in Victoria. Thanks, Scott and Russ, and they'll be back next week with more from the World Boxing Championships at 2 o'clock Eastern. And in that block, we hope to have the two Canadians who made the trip over to Bangkok for those World Championships, Andrew Cooner and Jason Douglas. Mark, thank you. At National